2019 brought us The Witcher, starring Henry Cavill. The show opened to massive success with fans of The Witcher book and video game series, but kind of a eh by the average viewer. I did a review on season one a couple of years ago, and let's just say it was divisive. But as of December 2021, Witcher season two came out. Did it live up to the hope of a new and better Witcher? Let's take a look. Witcher season two managed to correct a lot of the things that I complained about in season one. Season one had a very confusing timeline where different things were happening to people at different times within the same show, and it was weird. But in season two, they corrected that, and heck, they even made fun of that in one of the episodes. And we'll come back to that later. One of the biggest problems with season one is Geralt felt like a minor character in his own show. This season improves it. Geralt has a lot more to do. He takes, I would say, center stage for most of the show. And we have the two female leads. We have Yennefer and Ciri. Both of these characters work better in season two, although there's still some issues. Let's start with Ciri. In season one, stuff just kind of happened to her. She didn't really have a lot of agency. She was on the run, trying to escape for her life where she unintentionally used her magical power, one, to destroy a monolith, and two, to devastate areas, forests, soldiers chasing her, and whatever. This season, it's a lot better. She starts to try to take control of her life. In this, Henry Cavill takes her to the home of the witchers in the mountains, and she begins her training to become a witcher. During the season, it becomes obvious that she is not only an, I should say, agent of chaos, embodiment of chaos magic, whatever you want to call it, but she also has elder blood, which is a necessary ingredient to make more witchers. If you want to learn more about the history of the witchers and why that's important, check out the cartoon, which I shall have a review of soon. Yennefer, on the other hand, is a bit of an uneven season. At the end of the first season, she uses forbidden fire magic to decimate an enemy army and at the beginning of this season although it seemed like she died at the end of season one we find her napping in the woods so she comes and she gets captured by another sorceress because Yennefer has lost her magic then the two of them get captured by the queen of the elves because why not and then they found themselves in an underground cave researching the history of the elves when they come upon a spirit, demon, whatever, trapped underground in a cabin in a wooded type area. Now, anyone who is familiar with Eastern European mythology, they're looking at Baba Yaga and her house that kind of walks on like giant chicken legs or bird legs or whatever. The upshot is this demon gives Jennifer a choice says, hey, I will restore your powers, but you need to deliver Cersei to me. And then Yennefer goes on a wild quest of her own. She initially denies the demon, making her way through the world without powers. And eventually, she kind of succumbs to it. I don't know, kind of does, kind of doesn't. It's a little wishy-washy, in my opinion, at the end. But Yennefer overall is great. Two major problems. One is... Yennefer makes her way through the world with ease, right? She's kind of back where she was at the beginning of season one, although not deformed. It would have been a bit better if she struggled a bit more, if she failed a bit more, at least at first. It was nice to see her use her wiles, use her cunning to get out of certain situations, but it was a little bit too much. You know, she never struggled. Siri, on the other hand, we see her getting the crap beat out of her during training all the time. She really has to struggle to make herself better, which she does. Yennefer is still, I don't know, seems a little spoiled. And then they had the worst part of the series, Yasker. Luckily, Yasker is not in it very much. Now look, I understand if you read the books and you played the video game and you love Yasker. I did not to all of those things. 
Yes, yes, there's toss a coin to your Witcher. However, he is annoying. He feels like he doesn't belong. Like, I called the first season Fantasy Meets the CW because in a lot of ways it seemed like a show on the CW. He's one of the main reasons. Yennefer eventually finds him and he finds his way back and he makes up with Geralt and they're all friends and stuff. Yennefer, her other second flaw is we do not get to see Yennefer's assets like we do in the first season. In fact, we find a lot less sexy time in season two. There's no bath scene for the ladies to gawk at Geralt. It's just a little strange. I think maybe there was boobs in one episode for a book and a game series that, as I understand, had a lot of sexual content. It just seems weird. And I don't know if this was like a compromise on Henry Cavill or some of the actors' parts. Like, yes, we will tone down the nonsense that made it bad, but we will also take out some of this stuff that we didn't like. So the story itself progresses. We find what's left of the Witchers. We find out what the heck those monoliths do. We find out a little bit more about the prophecy concerning Ciri and her future, and we're introduced to the Wild Hunt. Now, the Wild Hunt, traditionally in mythology, was where a bunch of spirits would go at night, go through your town, go through the air, whatnot, similar to like how we think of spirits coming out on Halloween. It maybe works that way, maybe doesn't. It seems like perhaps all these monsters come from another planet and the Wild Hunt is part of that and maybe they're gonna come back to this world. It's really hard to say. And in the end, we find out who is Ciri's father and what his role is to play in season three. I won't spoil that. But overall, season two is better structurally than season one. However, still room for improvement. Geralt should really be more in the forefront. He's a lot better, but there's still work to be done. Yennefer, I don't know. They need to find a real arc for Yennefer. She's kind of meh. Siri, I thought was pretty good. Siri needs to continue on its way. And one thing I kind of wonder, in mentioning about making fun of the story structure in season one, it happens when Yasher is talking to a dock worker. And the dock worker is like, oh yeah, Yasher, I love your songs. Oh, you know, except for this one, the timelines were confusing and we didn't know who the main character was and what's this and that. And then, of course, Yasher attacks him. And I've really debated, is that supposed to be them acknowledging that there's a problem? Or is Yasher supposed to take the place of the writers and be at fans' throats for not liking what they wrote in season one? In 2022, I'm not really sure which is which. At any rate, I definitely like season two. I'm more excited about season three. I really hope they're able to hit it out of the ballpark. I'm not quite sure, but I believe they're they're working on shooting it sooner rather than later. So if you like this review, you want to hear more Netflix and other movie reviews, tune back in and we'll have more soon. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought.